Hi, my name is Scott, N3FJP, and I'd like to show you a little bit about Logbook of the World and getting that set up to interface with Amateur Contact Log. Uh, Logbook of the World is a fantastic service offered to any amateur radio operator, whether you're an ARRL member or not, uh, by the American Radio Relay League to use to obtain confirmations for your QSOs. It's fantastic in that it's, it's electronic, uh, it's uh, very rapid, and uh, super easy once you're set up, and it's, it's well worth doing. Uh, I love it. Um, in fact, we'll, uh, we'll go to the Logbook of the World site and I'll show you what's going on there. If you uh, go to www.arrl.org forward slash logbook dash of dash the dash world, um, you're, uh, you're at the front door. And just as a quick introduction from the ARRL site, uh, you can electronically submit contacts, QSOs for confirmation view your submitted QSOs and resulting confirmations online, view your DXCC, VECC, WAS, and WPX award progress online, and electronically submit confirmations for credit towards DXCC, VECC, WAX, etc. Um, and just as an aside, I recently applied for the uh, DXCC award using nothing but uh, LOTW confirmations, and that just makes it so easy to do. It's really, really nice. So, uh, to get started, um, if, again at the ARL site, you click the link for getting started with Logbook of the World, and uh, the first thing you have to do is get set up with ARRL and their TQSL software. So you would uh, download their software, and uh, they have a link for you to request a certificate that, that ARRL will supply you, and, and uh, your password. and um, once you uh, get your uh, certificate, you'll accept it and set up your station location, and you're and you're good to go. Of course, there's more a few more details here uh, on this page, but um, you just follow the steps, and in, in a very short amount of time, you'll be good to go. So, once you accomplish that, you're ready to set up LOTW uh, in Amateur Contact Log, and we'll click the LOTW menu item, and you will enter your LOTW username, which is will likely be your, your call sign. Uh, you'll then enter the login password that ARRL sent you. This is not the password that you use to register amateur contact logs. Some folks get confused about that. This is the password that ARRL sends you for LOTW. If the LOTW station location isn't pre-filled for you as a default, just click the down arrow and select the, that location. Uh, and then finally, we need to set the path for the location where you installed ARRL's TQSL software. So if this is not pre-filled, just click the From Registry button, and that should add it to you. So at this point, uh, you're good to go with uploading and downloading uh, from LOTW. For, as an example, the way I have amateur contact logs set up with my color coding, um, I use blue for confirmations that have been, for QSOs that have been confirmed, sent, and received. Green I've sent and not received. Black I have not uh, sent or received. So, so these uh, uh, records, say 17504 through 17493, need to be uploaded to Logbook of the World. So to do that, we'll click Logbook of the World. Uh, now, before I do that, I typically will do a uh, download just in case anything has, uh, else has come in. Typically, you'll want to click All Contacts Not Uploaded. Uh, that's, that's the most common option. Unless you're starting for the first time, you don't want to click entire log. Typically you want to click all contacts not uploaded so you only upload your new records. That puts a lot less burden on the system and makes it run a lot more efficiently. So we'll go ahead and click that. The process completed. It created the ADIF file. It then started um, the TQSL software. 
Uh, TQSL actually does the upload. That's that's the piece of the software that actually takes your records. It uh, signs them, puts them in a format that uh, 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 LOTW can ac accept, and uploads it. So we're complete, and um, we attempted to upload 12 QSOs, and uh, it's queued for processing. Final status success zero, that's what you like to see. That means everything went well. Now, um, we'll go back to the main page, and nothing happened, as we expected. After you do an upload, nothing is immediately changed in your log. The reason for that is that you never know if something went awry with the processing or the upload, so I would make sure that the upload was successful by doing a subsequent download. And uh, at that point, these records will be marked appropriately. Uh, for example, this is a record that has been marked previously. And as you can see, QSL received, QSL sent, are checked. And the received confirmed by and sent confirmed by both have L markings in them, meaning they were sent and, re and received by Logbook of the World. Uh, uh, by comparison, if we look at this record, um, they are unchecked, and there are, there's nothing in either of these two fields. Now, typically, LOTW takes a little time to process the records. It can be a few minutes, but at times, it can after a some of the really popular contests, it can be up to a day. Um, they they've been working on their their site, and I I know it's gotten uh, faster. Uh, but uh, don't don't be surprised if your records aren't prepared for download right away. Once they are uh, once they are available for download, you can uh, click all data or all sense, and I'll typically do all sense as my all data is pretty extensive at this point and takes a lot longer. You can uh, enter a date by which uh, for which you would like to query. And as you can see in this case, we, we, it's only been a few moments and the records have been processed. We did the download. All, these, uh, all 12 records have now been updated in AC log that they have been sent. And we also got a confirmation from St. Martin. So that's cool on uh, 30CW. So if we go back to the main log now, They've changed from black to green, except for St. Martin, which has changed to blue because it is sent and received. And we look at the uh, on the other screen, we can see QSL sent, QSL received, are checked, and received confirmed by and consent and sent confirmed by have the L. So that's uh, that's the pretty much all there is to logbook of the world. Uh, one other related item um, is you, because logbook of the world is really easy to get confirmations and it, it's it's slick you don't have to spend money on uh, QSL postage QSL card postage and uh, you know, save you time in addressing QSL cards it's all just done automatically uh, I'm I really tend to gravitate well, any any time I see a new uh, something that I have not confirmed on a, a specific band and mode, I will, of course, try to work it. But particularly so when I can when I see that there's an L by the spot, meaning that they are an LOTW user. So um, and and in fact, if you notice, that's a cabby coincidence. FS uh, forward slash K9EL is the same station I just got a confirmation for on 30CW uh, that I worked on June 4th. Well, here, here he is operating right now on 12CW. So I'm very confident that if I would work him, I'd get a confirmation very, very quickly. So that's, that's cool. To be able to see the LOTW users, you can click LOTW and you can click ID LOTW users on DX spots, and you would download the current uh, the 
the latest LATW users file. Now, this this uh, is not maintained by ARL; it's maintained by HB9 BZA. So this, this is not an official uh, list of call signs, but it, it seems to be pretty accurate, and it's worked out really, really well. So um, I, I encourage you to take advantage of that feature as well. A couple other comments. Typically, you would download um, all sense and and keep that up. Uh, all da data downloads. If you've got many thousands of records, it's going to be a big download. You, uh, if something was missed in your uh, in doing all sense, if you entered uh, one date and then an another date with a gap in the middle, and some didn't get. Uh, marked along the way, you might want to do all data every once in a great while. Um, and you might want to do all confirmed a little more often. There's always new LOTW users coming uh, coming on, and they may, may be guys you worked you know, a year ago, a decade ago, that are now uploading their confirmations, and you may miss some otherwise. So you, you, if you do all confirmed, you might get some, uh, some confirmations for uh, Cues you've made uh, a long, long time ago. So I, I encourage you to click on that once in a while as well. I believe that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Again, 7-3. My name's Scott and 3FJP. Take care. God bless.